Hello friends and welcome to our time of guided meditations and uh, my name is Pastor Katya Rodbeck. I'm so thankful that you are able to join me for this short time of spending time with God in prayer um, and intentionally um, focusing on what how God is at work in our lives and in this world. Um, friends, this is Pentecost uh, day or Pentecost week um, and this means that um, the Holy Spirit came upon the first apostles and they were empowered to be the church. They were empowered to bring goodness, to bring the good news of Jesus Christ, which means bringing justice and light and hope into this world. Um, and so this, this Holy Spirit uh, from Hebrew, Ruach, uh, it means breath. Um, or wind and so I'm in the patio today so you might see some of the uh, movement of the wind here and it's uh, very windy today here in central Ohio but I also so in our meditation we will be focusing a bit on our breath um, but also this beautiful symbol of breath and life what brings us life what catches our breath or um, what holds our breath and it seems like we can't breathe but then uh, where is the flow uh, of this beautiful breath and life um, in our lives, but also in our world? I was just thinking with everything that is happening, and um, especially in Minneapolis with the death of George Floyd, um, I feel like there's, there's some violence um, happening. And, um, I feel like in today's meditation, I really uh, not only focus on us uh, and what is happening in our lives, but really to kind of start our thinking about what is happening in the world uh, and how, how our contemplation and time of meditation, um, how the Holy Spirit can transform and change us and make us just a little bit more compassionate open up our eyes a bit more um, to the needs of others. So, uh, yeah, so I hope that time will expand our capacity to, to love um, and to bring love into this world. So find a comfortable position where you are. Um, let's take a deep breath and exhale. Prepare our hearts our minds to be in this meditation and let us begin. So if you feel comfortable, let us close our eyes and oh holy God, we invite you into this space we invite your Holy Spirit, your Ruach, your wind, your breath to lift us up, to invite us into the places where we need to go, where healing and uh, perhaps um, life, the life flow is unneeded um, in our lives. And in that, also in our lives, but also in the whole world. So Holy Spirit, come upon us. And now we take another deep breath. And I'm going to ask you to look in your life, at your life. Where do you feel like there is a tight flow? Where are those places where it feels like you can't breathe? Where are those places where you feel like you, they just take out all of the air out of you or even life out of you? So think about those places in your lives.
And as you're recalling them and bringing them into your attention, into your heart and into your mind, I invite you to hold those places before God. And invite God to guide you, to provide wisdom, Ask a God for perhaps for some gentleness and some love. And as you take a deep breath and you breathe out, release all those places into God's hands. Release them. And now I invite you to uh, think and bring into your attention the places where you feel there is like plenty of air to breathe. There is freedom and kind of a free flow of life, of beauty, of harmony. And as you name those places, I invite you to give thanks to God for them. And to truly celebrate them. And now I, as we were really focusing on our inner beings and our, and our world and life, now I invite you to turn outward and look into the world and see places in the world where there is sense that the air, the life, love, justice are sucked. It could be in your own community, it could be somewhere in our country, or maybe somewhere in the world, some other country. As you name those places, now bring those places to God. And bring your own sense of compassion and empathy. To those places ask God for justice for mercy for love for kindness to be revealed in that place And now as you're still looking out world, still looking out into your community and the world and our country, I invite you to lift up places where you have seen life, justice, joy, beauty. Bring them to your attention Now I invite you to lift us up uh, again, up to God for praise and thanksgiving for those places. Now I invite you to take another deep breath and exhale. Oh God, we thank you that we are able to 
connect uh, not only with our own a life in our inner world, but also with places outside of ourselves that you extended our capacity to be more compassionate and loving, to be more kind to others. May all of this will flow now with us into our lives, into our day, so that it might flow into action, an action or a small act of kindness and then that will be built on your kingdom of God. Thank you for this time. Amen. Friends, thank you so much for being uh, with me in this time of guided prayer meditation. Um, I hope that was helpful. I hope that uh, stretched us out a bit of focused on us on kindness and um, beauty and justice in this world I think our world needs it now and always so thanks so much for joining me and have a blessed week bye bye